Hi, this is Zach, and today I'm here to talk to you about packages in R. So in R, we have uh, different packages, something called packages. Basically, a package is a collection of R functions. So in R, there's always available the so-called base R collection of packages, uh, of functions, functions you've, like C, class, mean, and sum, these are functions you've seen before. However, sometimes you need functions that are not kind of included by default in base R. So for example, let's say the string R package has useful functions for manipulating strings, such as string detect, string replace all, or string to load. So how or where do you get these packages from? we get packages from the Comprehensive R Archive Network, or CRAN. Basically, it's a collection of web servers that host R packages. And you can think of it as similar to the Apple App Store. So if you want to install an app on your iPhone, you just need to click a few buttons and it auto kind of magically downloads it from the App Store and installs it on your computer. So similarly, you can just type a few, uh, basically one command, and you'll and R will automatically install the package from and getting it from CRAN. CRAN has a lot of packages, about 15,000 uh, 15, uh, so 2020. So we'll be covering three useful functions today. First is uh, the install.packages function. The second is the library function. And the third is basically this notation, the double colon notation, which allows you to refer to a particular function from a package. In this case, the select function from the package dplyr. Now, when you load a, when you install a package, and you load a package, you only have to install the package once, but you have to load it every time you restart R or R Studio. So this is similar to how when you install a package, a program on your computer, you only typically install it once. But each time you restart your computer, you usually have to reopen that program if you want it to be open. All right, so let's do a quick coding demo. So I've already talked about this. So in my computer, I haven't installed the string R package yet. So if I try to load it, you notice that there's an error because I haven't installed it yet. So let's install the package so that we can load it. So now it's trying to download the package from CRAN. It's downloaded and installed. Great. So now let's load the package. This time we can load it without an error. And we can now use the string replace all function, which is from the string R package. So X is the string. Would you like strawberry pie or strawberry ice cream? I'm not really a fan of strawberry, but I love durian. Durian's the king of the fruit, all fruits. So let's replace, use the string replace all function to replace all instances of strawberry with durian. All right, so let's run these two lines of code. And voila. We now have the string, would you like durian pie or durian ice cream? Why not have both? All right, so back to my slides for a bit. In this course, we'll be using the tidyverse a lot. The tidyverse is basically a collection of R packages designed for data science. And using the tidyverse, the functions in the tidyverse makes data science easier. All right, basically all of these packages were designed by the same person, so that's why it kind of works very well together. Okay, so back to the coding. Uh, since we are using this package, these packages a lot, you should install them. So let's install them right now. It takes about 30 seconds, does it? Oh, I guess I. it didn't take 30 seconds this time, so... Uh, I think I've already installed it. If you don't install it, if it hasn't been installed, it takes about 30 or 40 seconds, I think. But anyway, so once you do that, 
you load it and okay everything is great all right so that's all for now see you next time bye